Welcome to the channel, True Hunter here. In today's video, we are doing the sandbar guide here on Pickabean Bay. Now, I get a lot of questions from a lot of people that this animal is hard to hunt, and how do you exactly, how do you hunt sandbar deer? Well, there's only a few methods you can actually do to hunt these creatures because there's no collar for them. You basically have to rely on either tracking them or the scent spray that you, I'm going to be using in this video. But I will also show you the best locations you can hunt for these guys and the best time frame you guys can hunt for them because sandbar deer are kind of elusive and they uh, are best hunted during their um, feed zones. Now I say feed zones and some of you will be like, oh, but there's no need zones in this game. Well, kind of. The animals have kind of a, a routine throughout the day. So like you'll find the sandbar sometimes sleeping at a certain time or vice versa. But I prefer to hunt them during their feeding time because they, that's where they all congregate in one area. So if you use the scent spray, you can lure almost all of them to wherever you're hunting at. So without further ado, please subscribe to the channel and drop a like as the algorithm loves it. And yeah, let's get on with the hunt, guys. All right, guys, we are here at our tent location. I went ahead and brought my tree stand with me, too, so I can place it down. Now, normally you won't be able to put tree stands in these big trees here the ones with the big giant roots, but if you walk up the root, you actually get a prompt to put it in the tree, and then you can get it just fine. Now, I went ahead and shot a female sandbar right here to my left, and I put some scent spray down just below me here, and we do have a, another female sandbar out here in front of us, probably about 60 meters. Now, the reason why I choose this location is because these little open flats you see right here where they kind of like bowl down and like kind of got like an open area to feel to them. These are where the sandbar like to feed at. So you'll find these guys here primarily early in the morning around from like 8 a.m. to about 9 30 10 o'clock and then they go to sleep. So we got a female coming in. She's getting pretty close so we might take her with the bow gonna do a quick scoop around the tree make sure there's nothing around us here I don't particularly like that angle she's presenting me but I think we're gonna go for a spine shot here and we indeed got a spine shot and dropped her on the spot yeah I really like this spot up here because you're just out of distance to find really any bantang up here if you find bantang up here it's just gonna be like one band tank. You're not going to find like an entire group or anything up here. Um, so basically it's going to be sandbar and hog up here in this general area. But like I said, the uh, if you guys didn't know, the scent spray if you go to the description here, 20 minutes in game. So just take note of that too. So like you got to keep an eye on your hunter's mate when you spray it you don't want it to like run out and you don't have any more on the ground to attract these guys so we're gonna sit here for a little bit longer and see if we can find any more because the scent spray does lure a good distance away so all right actually it looks like there's a another female sandbar walking into my scent right now i didn't see her because these trees are here but she's probably about 15 meters away Let's see if we can put an arrow in here real quick. That should be a single lung at least. Alright guys, I went ahead and picked up those females I shot and I hopped back up here in the stand and there are just a lot of females coming into the scent. I've not got any males yet, but that is going to be promising later on in the hunt. As you guys can see, we got females all over us. Gonna go ahead and get these guys for some spotting knowledge here. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we are doing quantity instead of quality here. So we got five so far, three in front of us. It sounds like there's another one over here. She's right here to our right. Now, just because these are all females, doesn't mean they're all going to be females for you guys. This could actually be like multiple males up here. This is just all spawns. But generally you're going to find more females than males anyways. That's with mostly any other animal species. Especially uh, mule deer. And it looks like we have our first stag out here as well. In the very back. I don't know if you guys seen him or not. But 
He should also be coming over here very soon. So as you guys can see, this is a very, very good spot for Sambar. We got another one on the backside. We actually have a few on the backside over here. We have a, actually, wow. Okay, that's actually a decent sized Sambar deer right there. That's a decent sized stag. 175 to 245. So you're looking for about that size. They go up to 250 plus. Looks like we got another one that might be a Rusa deer, if I'm not mistaken. His antlers did look a little bit small. But that is a very decent sized Rusa deer stag to start off with. For our first stag. We got multiple females around us. We're going to hang out here for just a little bit longer. Because these guys aren't going to go far at all. We're going to hang around here in this area. And if they do wander off, we can just put some more scent down. And it looks like there is a stag over there. I can barely see him. I can't tell what he is, though. I can't tell if he's a rusa deer or a, a sandbar. We got another one up here on the hill. Another stag. That's a rusa stag there. So we have a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six females, one decent sized stag, a rusa deer up on the hill, and I believe this over here is a rusa as well, because it would have been lured already. So, a very decent spot, I would say. We're going to go ahead and take him with the pulser, because I think this is all that's coming in. We don't want the scent to wear off. And then we're going to move locations here because I got a couple sets that I like to hunt at. So he's probably about, oh, he's less than 10, so, but he's moving. So I don't like that opportunity. That was at least a single lung shot on him. So he's going to go die from that. I may just go ahead and grab my dog to make the process a little bit quicker. Alright guys, the scent hound finally caught up to this sandbar deer we shot. Let's go ahead and pick up this guy here. Weighed 486.8 and we got a 212. So that's about that's about average size for a sandbar deer. Alright, not a bad start. Not a bad first stag. I think we're going to go ahead and target at least three more stags before the end of the hunt. Like I said, we are overall just doing stand location and quantity here. Quality is just going to be a bonus. Alright guys, we are at the next set here for Sandbar Deer on Pickapine Bay. And I already put down my tent and some scent spray right here in front of me. And it is about 9 a.m. in game, but we do have two more sandbar stags coming down the hill towards us right now. There is one right there, and there is one right next to him. They are about the same size, so depending on which one gets here first, we are probably going to take at least one of these guys because they do have the exact same score estimate. Yeah, they have the exact same score estimate, so I don't think it really matters which one we take. But we are going to take one of them. So these guys should go ahead and come on in to the scent spray. I put it down about right there next to that tree right there. So anything that came over that hill right there would have walked right past me just like these guys should. Now hopefully what I'm worried about is my dog is actually below me right here. Hopefully my dog doesn't spook these sandbar because we're going to have to be quick about this. We got a drop shot on the first one. Like I said, we aren't far at all from the first set. We are just right over the hillside there. Now, the reason why I do this so close is because it's just beyond render distance of the previous set. So, basically, you're being able to cover more ground doing it that way. But, pretty small sandbar. 145, so he is on the smaller side of things. Alright guys, we are in set number three here. I already put down my scent spray and had my dog lay down. And we are going to be waiting on 
either some sandbar deer or pretty much whatever comes in. It's about an average size Rusa, and I believe he's the only buck. Yeah, he is the only buck. So he's probably about 30 meters. We're gonna go ahead and take him out. And that should have been a hard shot. So we're gonna walk over here and actually grab this Rusa deer. And then what we'll do is, is we'll actually fast travel to the tent if we're allowed to. We have six minute wait here. So what we'll do is we'll hang out here for a little bit on this back side of this hill. We actually completely destroyy this Rusa deer. But uh, right, guys, we finally made it back to the tree stand here. Beginning tree stand. It is now t little past 10 a.m. We got a sandbar male over here to our left side. And we should have a few females on their way into the scent as we speak right now. We got one female below us here. Hopefully this is a nice male because I do want to shoot a nice male with the 4570. And I can take this other one with the buffalo rifle. If I can get him to stop. Unless he's just going to... Uh do his thing there. This is kind of awkward if he just doesn't stop. Oh, I missed my shot. He moved last second. Well, we watched those two up. Sandbar moved last second, but we got this one still. absolutely vaporize that sandbar see my original plan was to drop that one with the bow and then turn and shoot that one anyways but kind of lucked down on that shot with that sandbar moving like it did but it's not like we missed out on a huge trophy or anything so I'm not upset at all I'm gonna pick up this guy here probably do like a 140s again 131 so a little bit on the smaller side. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's guide. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I highly appreciate it. And don't forget to join the Discord. That'll also be linked in the description down below. And leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys want more guides like this. I plan on doing a guide for every animal in the game. Yes, you guys heard it, every animal, even the lynx. So my most vicious enemy in this game is the lynx. So, but I will conquer that said enemy eventually. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide, and I will see you guys in the next video.